Hey what's up guys, it's Brain TCT, and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video and in today's video we are going to be talking about how to beat Expedition 70. Now this is the last um, Expedition level you can beat. Before we get into this video, I want to say subscribe if you guys are new here because I make daily Rise of Kingdoms tips and guides. Um, and, uh, and who doesn't want daily tips for Rise of Kingdoms? Now something... I want to talk about is that I, I might seem a little bit tired in this video. It's because I just got back from another trip and I didn't get much sleep because of it. I know I've been going on a lot of trips. That's why you guys haven't been seeing daily videos. It's more been like every other day and then sometimes every three days. But I'm I think I'm going to be able to go back to my regular schedule of every single day. Um, hopefully. Um, so I am going to make seven videos this time this for ne this next week so hopefully it'll all work out um so let's just get into the video so expeditions over here i just did i just finished expedition 70 right before i um right before i i like a few hours ago ish um so it was um uh, some uh, alliance members of mine told me some tips on how to do it and i didn't know that's why I'm making this video because I didn't know a lot of the stuff that you need to know in this video. So um, I, I'm not talking about how to three star it, just more of how to beat it. Because the three star it, it's going to take just more progress in the game, more than what I'm at. So probably higher technology. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a attack or defense rune. Um, so I had to go for this defense rune that's up here. Oops, sorry. Okay, it's uh over here. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. So I went for this defense rune. Right. Hmm. Well. Whatever. Yeah, I got a defense rune, and then yeah, I used it. So. Uh, yeah, so then I use defense, so I would probably suggest using defense in this um, battle because this is a really huge um, attack because this is, as it shows over here, it's Julius Caesar that has about 700,000, which is as much as a rally, and it's filled with T5, and then um, Julius Caesar doesn't have expertise and neither does Hannibal Barca, but they're both 6 star level 60, so they're pretty dangerous, so... Um, I actually, it took me a lot of attempts in getting all the runes, so you can also equip something that's going to be really helpful is your army expansion. So I already equipped one earlier and it's still going, I guess. Yeah, army expansion by 25%. Also, you should also get a um, defense buff. Yeah, so then you get defense by 5%. You could get attack, but I'd suggest defense. Same thing with the rune, I defense get, I'd defense suggest getting a defense buff but now you don't have to you can always get the attack ones they're not much different just because when you're attacking the beast of a sorry i accidentally cut out my recording right there um but yes it's going to take a lot of um it's going to take um a lot of tanking damage so um you're also going to need um a tanking commander so i used um i think it was um uh, I want to say Scipio and Richard, and then with their army expansion, it's that much. And then I use some others. So you want to have a really big tank, and then somebody that can um, attack, like and kill it quickly, so that the tanking doesn't um, take too much damage. Um, I pretty much um, went through everything to make sure that you guys um, get it well, and and also um. Technology military tech is also very important to getting to um, be able to defeat this. I'm working on combat tactics 8. has 7 days left. So um, I'm going to end this video right here. To make Thank you for everyone who stayed to the end to watch this video. Um, I'll, I'm going to be making daily videos again hopefully. So um, if you guys are subscribed, then thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.